Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option the 2018 Chevy Cruze. Not sure which trim level we're going to do. You already know that because I've already put the title up, so you already know the trim level. At this point, I don't know the trim level, so I guess you can watch me walk through this. Um, before we get into it, uh, if you find this content helpful, if you find this build and price review helpful, my overview of the Chevy Cruze helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, this um, video of the Chevy Cruze is part of a playlist I'm doing on five great new cars for teen drivers. So I'm going to put a link up to the playlist. Um, other than that, let's get into the build. I like Chevy. I like GM. I like GM brand uh, in general. Chevrolet. Buick, Cadillac, I like it all. I just got done doing um, a Buick uh, Encore. It's also part of that teen driver, so if you want to check that out, the easiest way is just to get over to that playlist, which I put a link up. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over this whole page. We can see that there's kind of some stuff on this page. We'll go through some of these tabs. We'll look at some specs, possibly, because I want to get some engine data, although the Buick en Encore has the same engine as these, I suspect. I think the same 1.4, but we'll double check. Uh, so we're going to go through all this information, and then we'll get into the build and price, and we'll figure out which model. I'm thinking the LT, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so let's find out. The car starts at $17,000. That's an incredibly good price. Um, what do they say? It's got. Uh, it's available in sedan and hatchback. Uh, technology you crave, so we'll, we'll find out. Plenty of cargo room, efficiency, practicality. All right, lots of colors. Not These colors probably aren't going to be available on every trim level. I don't know. I know sometimes Honda and some of the other imports do that. They've got quite a few colors, right? What was this? Kinetic blue, red hot. That's cool. Satin steel, I like. Silver ice, yep. Summit white, mosaic black, arctic blue. Pepper dust, I like that color. Graphite, metallic, and Cajun red. Um, it gets up to 52 miles to the gallon if you get the turbo diesel option. Uh, it's got an available built-in 4G LTE. Uh, the standard engine is a turbocharged motor, and it's got available phone integration. Uh, Consumer report says it's a top 10 pick for 2017. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, your new cruise is waiting for you. Uh, I guess the manufacturer is giving off a good deal. We don't get into that, like that kind of stuff. But we're passing it, so we'll talk on it. All eyes on the prize. We'll come back and look at some photos, possibly. All eyes on the prize. What's this RS package? That looks fun. Uh, don't worry. You get used to the stairs. Cruise features bold aerodynamic sculpting for the attention-grabbing appearance. Details like the available projector beam headlamps with available LED daytime running lamps leave a lasting impression. And if you want to take comfort to the next level, Premier, that's a trim level, offers standard heated front seats and available heated rear outboard seats. All right. Um, what's this? All right. They're just kind of, that's the same sentence. Nice car inside. See what I'm talking about? The GM stuff is just, I really like what they're doing. I just really like what's going on over there. Um, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, they got a red line package for this. Okay. I just did the Malibu. Um, and I think I did it with the red line package. That's cool. I like that. There's the hatchback. The hatchback looks really fun. We might have to do the hatchback. We'll see. Uh, personalize the aesthetics, right? That comes with black 18-inch wheels. You got to get an LT package for that with RS appearance package. So you got to do two things. Uh, and then you get these and all this stuff here: black grill, fog lamp bezels. That's the surround around the fog lamps. Black bow ties. That's instead of the standard goldish yellow color. Um, whatever you're into, there's room for it, right? They're showing you the utility of this vehicle. Uh, Right, 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 okay. Um, 47.2 cubic feet of cargo space when the second row is folded down. Uh, the tech to keep you moving. What's up with the tech? Cruise offers technology to help keep your life simple and seamless. 
Uh, the car is equipped with the standard Chevy MyLink with a 7-inch diagonal color touchscreen, so your music and select apps are always within reach. That's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Cruise offers support for that, a smarter way, da-da-da-da-da. If Android Auto, da-da-da. So is that standard? I think it is. My uh, Chevrolet mobile app, you know, start your car, lock and unlock doors, check diagnostics type stuff. That's cool. Uh, 4G LDE, that's self-explanatory. That puts a hotspot in your car so you can connect your devices. Uh, here's their diesel option. It's a 1.6 up to 52 uh, miles to the gallon. It's making a whopping 240 torque. That's nice. That's nice because if if this 1.4 engine, the 1.4 liter engine that they say is standard, the turbo motor, if it's the same one that's in the Buick Encore, then it makes about, I think, 137 horsepower, somewhere thereabouts, and about 148 pound-feet of torque. So that's considerable, but they're probably charging a premium to get the diesel. Um, so we're not going to explore the diesel because I think we're going to stick with gas. Uh, the fun happens between point A to B. These are RS packaged cars. That looks like Portland, Oregon, which is my area. This sure does look like Portland, Oregon in the Pearl District. Mm, I could take a second opinion on that from anybody in the comments. Very cool picture. Uh, never mind, half the fun. All right, up to 40 miles to the gallon with the 1.4, 153. We'll have to check the spec on that engine, 153 horsepower. Uh, it's cool. You're covered. What's this all about? Uh, the 18 crews receive a five-star overall vehicle safety score from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the NHTSA. I don't know. Uh, so what is that? Prevent. So rear vision camera. So that sounds av like it's standard because they don't use the word available, which means and it's an option. So optional for, uh, forward collision alert, optional rear park assist, optional lane keep assist with lane departure warning, optional lane change alert with side blind zone alert and optional rear rear cross traffic alert okay what's the protect thing all right uh cruise is equipped with an impressive 10 standard airbags frontal side impact and knee airbags help protect you and your front passengers uh side impact and head curtain airbags help protect rear outboard passengers while, while a high strength steel safety cage gives you added peace of mind and what's respond uh, that's the OnStar safety and security plan with automatic crash response is standard for the first month. You got 30 days to get an accident, apparently. Um, whatever. Um, the teen driver technology. So teen driver has a number of advanced features. I think this is cool. Hey, this car is part of the list for great cars for teens, right? Teen driver technology. It's kind of cool, right? Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, explore teen driver. You know what? Let's take a quick peek at that. Uh, seeing that this is part of that, uh, promote safe driving habits. We're not going to look at the videos. Um, nothing is more important than that. That's why Chevrolet offers teen driver technology, an available built-in system that helps you coach your new driver, even when you're not there. Uh, you can set a speed alert, a volume limit alert on the stereo. And with the industry's first and only in-vehicle report card, it's easy to track your teen's driving performance. That is cool. Uh, show new drivers the way. Only 60 people. Okay, so we got some data here, right? That's cool. Um, a hands-on teaching tool. Teen driver has a number of safety features from uh, muting audio until front seat occupants are buckled to automatically turning on available active safety technologies like side blind zone, blind zone alert for collision and all that other tech. That's pretty cool. They're saying some redundant stuff, but, you know, you can set a custom speed. Uh, set audible and visual warnings when the vehicle is traveling over a pre-selected speed. Um, right, that's the speed limiter. And then the audio limiter. And then the seat belt audio, audio mute, right? Like you can't hear the you can't hear the music till you clip that seat belt in. All right, so all cool stuff. That was worth checking in. Uh, Chevrolet Cruze LT versus the Ford Focus, right? I guess it's probably better seeing that they've got it on, the, on their home page, on their overview page. All right, let's check the specs really fast. This is the base model, right? Is this the base model, the LT? I don't think so. LT hatch. We're going to do the LT hatch. Where do you do the sedans at? Where do you do the sedans at? Hang on. 
Okay, there it is. LT automatic front wheel drive sedan, because I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to option. Um, so there we are. Uh, I want to see what the base stuff is. Remote start. I'm not going to read everything. You could always pause the video if you want to, you know, catch everything. I'm just looking for notable stuff. Like, you can add the bows if you want. But what I really want to look at was that engine stuff really fast. These two engines. So you've got, here's the the 1.4. That 1.4 liter engine. Oh, they don't tell us how much torque or at what pound feet of torque. I think it's... To, oh, it's 2,000 to 4,000 RPMs. I know that for a fact because this is the upgraded motor that the um, Buick Encore comes with. And it makes it makes that torque at 2,000 RPMs to 4,000 RPMs. And it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We can live with that. The diesel, right, 240, right, 240. All right, let's go back. Let's go to build now. So let's build it out. I think we got enough data on the car. Um Let's go take at uh, take a look at uh, what do we want? We want a sedan. There we go. And they don't come in all-wheel drive, and so that's just front-wheel drive. We're not going to do the the diesel motor. So now we're going to go pick trims. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I like that hatchback. Let's go do the hatchback. I like the hatchback. Let's do that. Oops. Building price. Let's start back over. I'm not even going to pause the video. Let's do the hatchback. Uh, front wheel drive, turbo four cylinder. Uh, the trim's gonna be the LT automatic, right? Six speed, six speakers, 16 inch alloy wheels, 60 40 split folding rear seat, compact spare tire. Let's, no, not that one. Cancel, not that one. LT automatic, sorry. Yep, with that motor, select, okay. Uh, that includes all the LS stuff. So let's read the more and see if it gives us all the highlights. So the highlighted features are the six inch or six speaker audio system. It's got some really tiny 16 inch wheels, 60 40 split rear seats, compact spare, cruise control, LED daytime running lamps are cool, and the Sirius subscription for like I don't know how long that is. Um, and we can see some interior standard options right because really what i want to check is that bluetooth audio streaming apple carplay android auto that's what i really want to look i want to check that tech uh built-in wi-fi hotspot bluetooth yeah we're there we're there it's got the stuff we're sitting at what 20 grand on this thing yeah let's build it um let's go forward to colors what do we want for colors does a teen need red hot probably not probably not we're not going to do pepper dust. How about the uh, silver ice metallic? No. How about the graphite metallic? No. That looks very blue. How about the arctic blue? Mm. You know what? You know what? Just for the just for the heck of it, I like that red that red hot. I like it. I think it looks fun. Let's look at the interior really quick. Get a couple shots of the interior. That's a nice shot right there. That gives us a good look. Um, do they give us a better side view of this car? Probably not. Yeah, that, that's better, actually. All right, so we're going to do red hot. Uh, jet black cloth seat trim. That's apparently the only option, and I'd rather it be that than some tan. Red line edition. That's the black cruise badges. Z-Link rear suspension. Right? What's that all about? There's uh, the red line edition. Right, that's the red line edition. That requires another package. Didn't that require the RS package? Where is that package at? Here's the RS package. That's a sport body kit, uh, RS badging, fog lamps, and a rear spoiler. And, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So I'm almost positive. So I bet you when we select this, because we're going to get the sporty stuff, it's going to maybe include that other. Yeah, it's going to add the RS package as well. Let's see what that looks like probably fun oh yeah that looks fun doesn't it let's get another shot let's see that front end that looks good now let's see the front mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one more time okay that looks good I like it I like it I like it but I thought I picked the hatchback I thought I picked the hatchback <laughs> It moved me. It moved me. It moved me. Let's see. Let's see if I could. Can I get back to that without it messing everything up? Let me try it. Let me try it. Hatchback. Changing your selection will reset your red line. Yeah, fine. Let's reset it. I thought I did that. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Hatchback. 
turbocharged motor. Uh, can you not LT automatic? That's what we want. Oh, LT hatch automatic. That's what it was. I select, got it. LT hatch automatic. There we go. LT hatch automatic. And now we can get back over to where we were. I picked the red hot. And then same color deal. The red line. Let's add the RS package. And now we're back to where we were. Right? Now we're back to where we were. All right. I like the hatchback. That looks really sporty. Um, let's see. The winter and summer package with the mats. All weather mats and the premium. I think that's a good deal. I'm going to select 250 right now. Because I think we're, that's probably the best one, the best option for 250. What's the convenience package? Keyless open, keyless start, remote start. Yeah, I think it's a good package. Because maybe you're not buying this for your teen, uh, teen driver. Maybe you're just getting this for yourself. Because this is a nice car. I like it a lot. It's a good price. Conve convenience package, 1,200 bucks. Right here's what's included: keyless start, eight-way power adjustable driver seat, remote start. Uh, that's on the key fob. Heated driver seat and front passenger, and keyless open. Right. 1200 bucks basically we're still not even at 25 grand sun and sound package ambient lighting man you can make this really fun yep yep this is a really fun one remove chevy my link 7 because we're about to uplink or update to the 8 inch right illuminated visor mirrors 1500 bucks uh chrome side moldings no ground effects package well creates a ground hugging appearance now, if I add that, the R, that's going to remove the RS package. Watch. Does it? Yeah. No, we're not going to remove the RS package. Um, that This is if you want to do something else, I suppose. Driver confidence package. I, I think especially whether you had a teen driver or not, you want all this tech for just 500 bucks. I mean, come on. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe this already has that. Right? Does it already have that? Chevy, rear cross traffic, rear park assist, da, da, da. Why is is that bundled? Why? Oh, it's in the driver confidence package. That's why. Changing driver confidence package will also change the following. All right. Um, maybe we already have that. Sun and sound, convenience package, winter, red line. I don't know why it's not letting us have that package. I'm not really sure. Black name pay, plate. All right. Let's go on to exterior. We got the wheels we want because we got the special package. Six-speed auto. Z-Link rear suspension. Let's do those performance brakes because this is a this is our little pocket rocket. Let's do the performance exhaust too. Come on, you know it. Performance brake package. Um, tell us about this exhaust. Let's, have, let's do the performance exhaust. This is fun. I like it. It's a really fun car. Um, front and rear splash guards. Gotta do that. Gotta do the splash. Gotta do those splash guards because road tar and stuff like that kicks up and it just ruins your paint so you got to get the front and rear splash guards what does it want to do really okay oh because it's got the body kit package framework on there okay well never mind um uh, front and rear black bow tie emblems looks like it has that already as part of some other kit wheel locks yeah easy um security for your wheels painted body side moldings we already have that fog lamp front fog lamp kit yeah, we probably want that. Although it looks like we actually have it. I just waited, needed to wait for the photo to load because it's probably part of the RS package. So we don't need to worry about it because we got fog lights. Let's go to the interior. Um, we've got the upgraded Bose, the Chevy MyLink, the front bucket seats, heated driver passenger. Do we want the illuminated door sills? I thought we had those. I thought that came with a package. I'm going to find out here in two seconds. I'm going to find out. Okay, we got illuminated door seals now. Um, and premium carpeted cargo mat. No. Oh, can you do these a la carte? Or no, I bet you you can't. May require additional optional equipment. That's what that means. Watch. It's going to want to remove something. Yeah, it's going to remove the, uh, uh, what is that? The red line edition, basically, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So guess what? I guess if you were getting this for a T driver, they were not going to have some of that important tech. I guess you give it up. Um, accessories. GM always throws up these accessories that are just kind of, they throw them up standard no matter no matter the brand. No matter whether it's a GM product, a Chevy product, or, or I mean a Chevy, a Cadillac. Um, these pedals are cool, though. I do like the pedals, the sport pedals. 
Um, that's probably it. Yeah, that's probably it. So this was a $21,000 car. It's now a $28,000 car. But guess what? Nobody's going to have a Chevy Cruze hatchback LT like this. I tell you what. Selected packages, right? $4,600 in those packages. We got the red line package, the winter summer floor package, convenience package, sun and sound package, um, which threw a bunch of stuff out there. A bunch of stuff. Uh, RS package, and then what else? And then some options, $2,600 in options, right? Little performance upgrades. This car is really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. $28,075 out the door. I like it. I'm going to save this PDF, right, because we can save the build. Where is it? There should be like a print somewhere. Where is it at? It's right there. So I'm going to save this as a PDF, and I'm going to put the link up in the description below. So if you like the spec on this, if you like the cruise, you should probably really like this one because it looks really sporty. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. You have a wonderful evening or a day. I don't know what time of day it is for you. It's the evening for me. Uh, and thanks for joining me.